Hello my friends, in this video I'll be showing you how you can set up Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows, from scratch on a brand new Windows 11 machine. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you to Dylan, Tobias, Alex, Julian, and Hisayuki for sponsoring this project. So to get started, let's enable support for long paths on Windows. You may have already done this, even if you haven't done this before, or rather, even if you have done this before, I think it's worth running this command just to make sure. Cool, that is done. We don't have to worry about our path being too long anymore. We can close out of this administrator window. So we'll look at the quick start section of the readme and we're going to want to make sure that we have the scoop package manager installed let's open up our terminal head over to scoop and run these commands to install the package manager All right, the package manager is now installed. We can close out of this window and open a new terminal to refresh the environment variables. And if you do scoop help, you get the help for scoop. That shows us that this is installed and we can open a new tab and see that the path has been updated to add in all of the things that we install using scoop. So let's start by adding the extras bucket. I have a feeling you need to install git before you can add a bucket on a brand new machine. I am right. So let's install git. And now that git has been installed, let's try adding the bucket again. And now that the bucket has been added, we can install Komorebi and WHKD. So we'll paste in these two lines. And both of these have now been installed. You can check that they're installed by doing Komorebi C help. You should get some help and WHKD help. Uh, which gives you some output. So the next thing that we need to do is pull in some example configuration files. So we'll copy this line and paste it in. And this is downloading this file to the home directory on our machine. This is the example static configuration. Next, we want to get some app-specific configurations and fixes to make things just kind of work by default. So we run this command. You can just copy and paste. And the final example configurations that we want to pull in are for WHKD, which is what handles the shortcuts. So this command is to make sure that this .config folder exists. And this command is to download the sample configuration to that folder. With all of that done, we can now run this final command. Komorebc start dash c, that takes the path to your configuration file, dash dash whkd, which means please also start whkd so that I have shortcuts. Okay, you can see things kind of snapped into place there. And I'm pressing Alt and H to go to the left, Alt and L to go to the right. And I can move things around and they're working. It's very nice. So I can do comma OBC active window border enable perhaps. Yeah, and we've got a little border coming up. And so that is basically the quick start so you've gotten started, you have some example configurations. Why don't we take a quick look at those example configurations so that you know just what you're working with. I'll pull those up here 
in the browser. Okay, let's <laughs> make that a little bit bigger so you guys can see. Ah, okay, so this is setting the path to the applications.yaml file that got downloaded when we ran this command. And you can see there's a, a little bit of helpful guidance here, right? You can add this to your comarebi.json static configuration file like this. Um, yeah. And so this is the raw path. Um, this is a bit more generic. So this is running on a VM. So the name is user. Maybe your user is your first name or a nickname or a gamer tag. I don't know. But instead of having to hard code that, you can use this env.user profile, which very helpfully always will resolve to what your actual uh, user path is. Uh, then we have some defaults. These are the same defaults that we had in all of the previous versions uh, of Comma Rebi when we were using a dynamic configuration approach. One new difference here is that you can set the default workspace and container padding here uh, for every single workspace. Previously, you had to set this per workspace, but if, for example, you know that you want everything to be um, padded with, with very little space in between the windows and the workspace. You can reduce this to 10, to 5, to 0, whatever you like. Uh, you saw that I set the active window border with the command line. You can also do this with your configuration file. And we can do this now, right, just to... Uh, just to demonstrate. So I've changed this to true. I'm going to save and it has picked up. Uh, yeah, picked up the changes. Pretty nice. So you can take a look through this at your own leisure. And the other configuration file that I wanted to walk you through is the WHKD configuration file. Now, this configuration file is where you're going to set your shortcuts to do different Komorebi actions. Whenever you change this file, you can hit Alt and O by default, uh, and this will restart uh, WHKD with the new configuration. On the other hand, if you want to, for any specific reason, reload the Komorebi configuration manually, you can hit Alt, Shift, and O, though automatic configuration reloading is set by default. So you shouldn't need to worry about that. The things that you will use most are probably window focusing and window moving. So Alt and H, J, K, L are going to change the focus. So maybe I get another window open here. Uh, there we go. So I press Alt and H, I go to the left, I press Alt and L, I go to the right, Alt and J takes me down, Alt and K takes me up. Uh, and you can cycle through the focus using the square braces with Alt and Shift, which is what I'm doing now. To move windows, it's the same um, the same H, J, K, L keys, but you also use the shift key. So moving to the left, moving to the right, moving down, moving up. You can also stack windows. There's a specific video on window stacking that you can find in the tutorials playlist. Um, you can toggle float for some windows, so Alt and T. And now this is floating and you can drag it around and Alt and T again to bring it back in. Alt, Shift, and F brings you into monocle mode, which takes up the workspace area. Um, and if things get a little janky, you can do Alt, Shift, and R, 
it'll force a retile. You can pause the entire window manager with Alt and P, so I'll do that now. And so now things are just moving around on their own. If I hit Alt and P again, everything will snap back into place. Uh, I think that is a, a good overview. Again, you can dig into this at your own leisure. And of course, if you have any questions, there is a discussions forum here. If you have any specific issues, there is an issue tracker here. And we also have a Discord server that is quite active. Uh, yes, I believe that you can click on chat here. There's also a link in the description of the video to the Discord server and here as well in the about section. So before I go, I would like to direct you to the sponsor page. If you do use the software, if it is useful, if it does improve your workflow, if you just love it, um, please consider becoming a sponsor, even if it's just a dollar a month. It means a great deal to me. And if you are not able to sponsor, the next best thing that you can do is make sure that you are subscribed to the channel on YouTube. I have a link here that you can click. It'll take you to the channel where I imagine you are watching this video and you'll get a little pop-up inviting you to subscribe. I really hope that you do. As you can see, I have a lot of Komorebi related videos here, including development videos. So if you're interested in the development of Komorebi, if you would like to learn a little bit more about the Rust programming language, subscribe, check it out. You might find something that you like. That is it for this video. Please stay tuned for more videos on this channel relating to new features in the 0.1.17 release of Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. I hope that you all have a great day and I hope to see you all back here soon. Goodbye.